this video, we will focus on several important factors to ensure secure and economical transportation of stationary plants. The purpose of this video is to make anyone involved aware of the complex procedures such special transportations entail. Worldwide deliveries of stationary plants require extensive planning to make transportation as safe and punctual as possible. We shall follow the transportation process from the departure at Ulstein Bergen to the installation on site. At our modern production plant north of Bergen, we have been producing engines for 50 years. 500 employees do their utmost to give our customers a world-leading product. Our engines are used on land and sea all over the world. At Holstein Bergen, we emphasize quality, and transportation is no exception. Traditionally, our engines have been delivered to the maritime world, involving transport from factory to shipyard. In later years, the gas engine has become an important product, presenting new challenges to the transportation. This is due to the customer's location, which is often nowadays less central than that of a shipyard. Today, stationary plants are delivered on a turnkey basis, which means that engines are often delivered up to 250 kilometers from the nearest port. Before the engine leaves the factory, it is subject to thorough quality tests to ensure that the customer receives the best possible product. After testing, the engines are painted and prepared for transport. Untreated surfaces are covered up Finally, the engine is covered with a special tarpaulin which protects against humidity and dust during the entire process until the installation has been completed. It's half past four in the morning and an engine is being prepared for transport to Plymouth in England. When an engine in excess of 50 metric tons is to be transported, it is vitally important to ensure correct load distribution for the transport vehicle. Width and height must be controlled carefully before the engine is fastened. To drive special transports like this one, permission is required from the respective country's authorities. Applications must be made three weeks in advance to get the necessary dispensations. In several countries, we need a police escort, and in other places, we are only allowed to drive at night. The journey includes a crossing by ferry from Bergen to Newcastle. The lorry is 25 metres long and weighs 90 metric tonnes, so margins for error are small. After docking in Newcastle, the journey continues to Plymouth. The infrastructure up to the destination must be examined well in advance. Bridges, tunnels and other possible obstacles can indeed cause trouble.
Becton Dickinson is a pharmaceutical company which has decided to start generating its own power. This company has chosen Ulstein to supply them with engines. In the factory area, the necessary preparations have already been made. The site must be able to accommodate a mobile crane with a capacity of 250 metric tons, in addition to the lorry itself. It can often be a problem to get the engine into the on-site building. Therefore, a supervisor from our transport agency is present to manage the operation. To facilitate the towing of the engine into the building, jack points have been made in advance. The engine must be turned 90 degrees before it is attached to the foundation. Two airbags are used to lift the engine for the rolls to be adjusted. The air is provided by the trailer's compressor equipment. Uh, An extremely complicated job has been completed successfully and we're going back to Bergen again. This time we'll follow three engines on their way to Bilbao in Spain. The journey begins with a sea crossing. Sea fastening forms an important part of Ulsteinbergen's transport procedures. A long crossing, often under extreme conditions, makes proper securing of the load essential. Additional securing points are welded onto the deck. Nothing is left to chance. Campo Frio is a large meat processing plant, approximately 100 kilometers from Bilbao. The engines will provide additional power supply and the waste heat will be used for heating the premises. The engines have to be taken across a moat. Timber is a good building material for tackling such obstacles. The engines are now a short distance away from the foundations and the basis has been made for a simple operation. In Bilbao the engines were reloaded onto a car. The crane and the lorries arrive at a busy building site. It is important that there is enough space for them and that the road can sustain their weight. Transport vehicles are quite substantial. We are dealing here with strong forces. Our supervisor is once again on site to control the operation.
arriba. Sí. Sí. Oh. When planning a new building, it's wise to think practically. Here, for example, there is ample space between each engine, which facilitates maintenance once the engine has started operating. Service engineers will need space for a workbench, and they also need a hoist attached to the ceiling for lifting large components. The engines have been placed on the foundation. The tarpaulin provide proper coverage on a dusty building site until further installation. For the transportation of our engines, four points need special consideration. Each and every aspect has to be planned months in advance. Nothing should be left to chance. For every stage of the transportation, the engines must be secured properly in order to prevent costly damage. The infrastructure of roads, bridges and cable spans must be checked and checked again because of the substantial height and weight of the engines. The installation should already be taken into account when a new building is being designed to make the operation as smooth as possible. The building site itself must be free of obstacles for the crane, the vehicles and the engine.